Underdogs in sports are always fun to root for, but what about all the underdogs in sports that don't get publicity, stardom, or fame? Well, this is Ryan Pepio, baseball's biggest underdog, and I think he will be the World Series MVP this year. Let's start from the beginning. Pepio was born in Indianapolis, Indiana, and grew up in Westfield, Indiana, where he attended Westfield High School and played basketball, baseball, and football. He ultimately pursued a pro career in baseball, getting drafted in the third round of the 2019 MLB Draft by the Los Angeles Dodgers. Pepio cruised in his first season of minor league baseball, pitching to a 1.93 ERA in 23 and one third innings pitch. Unfortunately, in 2020, the world shut down and minor league baseball shut down for the season. 2021 came with a lot of excitement for Ryan Pepio, but unfortunately, there wasn't much excitement for long. As Ryan Pepio struggled in 2021, posting a 4.62 ERA in 101 and a third innings in AA and AAA. But 2022, Ryan Pepio came different, posting a 2.56 ERA in 91 and a third innings and making his major league debut this season. Known for his amazing changeup, going into 2023, every, everyone in the Dodgers organization believed it was Ryan Pepio's year, but he had a massive challenge awaiting him. Going into the season, the Dodgers needed a fifth starter in the rotation, so they were looking from within the organization and landed on two potential outcomes, those being Ryan Pepio or Michael Grove. They were set to compete for the job in spring training, and they both looked pretty meh. Michael Grove posted a 5-4-0 ERA in 16 and two-thirds inning pitch, while Pepio pitched to a 5-1-9 inning in 17 and one-thirds innings pitch. Pepio won the job primarily because of his insane changeup and higher potential than Grove, but in his last spring training start at Angel Stadium, I went to, by the way, and he looked really, really good. After a start, though, unfortunately injured his oblique and it ended up being severe, and Pepio would miss four months of the season due to this. So the promotion he earned got taken away because of an injury, and Grove would take over the fifth starter role heading into the season. While obviously this was very rough for Pepio, he didn't let it phase him, as he would come back in August to fight for another spot in the Dodgers postseason roster. Ryan is now currently fighting for his spot on the postseason roster as a starter or bulk bullpen guy. He is competing against Dodgers trade line acquisitions Ryan Yarbrough, Lance Lynn, and some in-house guys such as Gavin Stone. Our guy Pepio is killing it though. He has a 1-2-9 ERA and 14 innings pitch since coming back to the team. And I believe he will help the Dodgers immensely in their playoffs push this season, especially since the loss of Julio Urias just happened. If you want to learn about that, click the video on screen that I made where I explain the situation. And that leads into how he, and that leads into how he could be the World Series MVP this year. If the Dodgers have a deep run in the playoff this year, I expect Ryan Pepio will be a very big part in that as he could have a Julio Reyes 2020 playoffs type role where he starts the game, but he can also come out of the bullpen if necessary. And if Ryan Pepio keeps being electric like he's been so far, I'm excited what's to come in the future.